the electricity. Okay, electricity. Who discovered the electricity here? Benjamin Franklin discovered the electricity. Okay, Benjamin Franklin discovered the electricity while flying the kite. Already I have said in you, said you in the ninth standard. Okay, we will move to the electricity. It is the one of the important topic for you for your tenth standard and upcoming exams. Okay, first topic we will discuss in the electricity is electric charge. Okay, first topic is of electric charge. What is electric charge? What is electric charge? Electric charge. It is a. It is a basic. Basic property of. It is a basic property of. Protons, electrons, and and subatomic particles. Is it clear? Electric charge is nothing but a basic properties of protons, electrons, and subatomic particles. What are subatomic particles? Some other particles. Now there are two types of charges already you know one is of positively sorry positive charge one is of positive charge second one is of negative charge see guys electric charge one is positive charge and one is negative charge which is the basic property we already we know this one now we will move to this one for electric charge what is the si unit here si unit of electric charge is coulomb and denoted by c si unit of electric charge is coulomb and denoted by c guys remember coulomb is the si unit and it's very important to you just remember the si unit of all now one one coulomb is equal to what's the value of one coulomb here one coulomb is equal to 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 electrons what's the value of one coulomb here 6.25 to 5 into 10 raised to 18 electrons. This is important. You have to remember here. By solving the solution, you will get this one. 1 coulomb is equal to 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 electrons. And we got that 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 electrons is equal to 1 coulomb. Then what is the value of 1 electron? We have to know that one. What is the value of one electron? One electron. Always guys remember the electrons are negatively charged. Always the electrons are negatively charged. So, one, one electron is equal to, one electron is equal to 1.6 into, 1.6 into 10 raised to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulombs. What is that? 1.6 into minus 10 raised to minus 19 coulombs is the value of one electron. Is it clear, guys? Now we will move to the next topic. Is it clear about electric charge? Yes, sir. Is there any doubts here? No, sir. No, sir. We will move to the next topic. Is electric Current. Okay. Remember, guys, one coulomb is value is 6.25 into 10 to 18 electrons, and one electron is always remember the value of electron will be in negative itself. What is that? 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. Is it clear? Now we will move to the next topic is electric current. Electric current. Ok, 
ओके इलेक्ट्रिक करंट व्हाट इज इलेक्ट्रिक करंट ये व्हाट इज इलेक्ट्रिक करंट कैन एनीबॉडी से ये व्हाट इज इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इज इट इज अ इट इज अ लेट्स वी डिस्कस अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिक करंट व्हाट इज इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इट इज अ इट इज अ फ्लो ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस इट इज अ फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस इन अ इन अ स्पेसिफिक डायरेक्शन स्पेसिफिक डायरेक्शन स्पेसिफिक डायरेक्शन इन इन यूनिट यूनिट टाइम गाइस प्लीज अंडर मी इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इट इज अ फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस व्हाट आर द इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस आई हैव सेड यू जस्ट बिफोर दिस टॉपिक ओके इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस हाउ द नंबर ऑफ चार्जेस फ्लो इन अ डायरेक्शन सर्टेन डायरेक्शन और अ स्पेसिफिक डायरेक्शन इन हाउ मेनी टाइम इन हाउ मच टाइम वी विल कैलकुलेट दैट वन दैट इज नथिंग बट अ इलेक्ट्रिक Current. It is a flow of electric charges in a specific direction in unit time. It is the definition for the electric current. For example, now listen to me. You know this. It is an electric circuit. We will discuss about the electric circuit in coming topic. See here. It is a positively charged and it is a negatively charged. Here, here the flow of charges are there. Here the flow of electric charges are there here the given direction is also there here the given direction is also there so what we says it is a flow of electric charges it is a electric charges are flowing here what are the definition says it? electric charges are flowing here in a specific direction in a this direction they were flowing in a unit time example here the bulb is there until from battery here battery is connected battery to bulb battery to bulb how the current is flowing how much current is flowed in how much time you know you want that you have we have to calculate i will say about that in next topics just to concentrate here it is a flow of electric charges here the charges are flowing in a specific direction in a specific direction the charges are flowing in how much time that is unit time that is nothing but a electric currents definition now Guys, next point is of electric current is SI unit of SI unit of electric current is is ampere. SI unit of electric current is ampere and it is denoted by capital A. It is denoted by capital A. Okay, SI unit of current is remember ampere. It is denoted by capital A. Now, electric current it is in it is in scalar quantity. It is in scalar quantity. It is the basics about the electric current. Just now we have discussed it here. Okay. Now come to the point of ampere. What is ampere here? What is ampere? Now we will discuss about the ampere. One ampere. What is one ampere? The question arises here. What is one ampere? Can anybody say here? Can anybody say what is one ampere? If one coulomb of charges. Yes. If one coulomb of charges passes through a conductor in one second. See, guys. If one Column of charges. One column of charge passes through, passes through, passes through conductor, passes through conductor in conductor in one second. One second. Then it is said to be. It is said to be. it is said to be 1 ampere of 1 ampere of current is passed 
Is it clear? What is one empty area? One coulomb of charges passes through a conductor in one second. Okay, then it is said to be the one ampere of current is passed. Now, in ampere also, in ampere there are two types. It means what I am saying is electric current have when there is small amount of electric current there is a two types one is micro ampere and milli ampere okay now we will discuss about that first one one milli ampere one milli ampere what is one milli ampere here what is the value of one milli ampere one ampere is equal to how much value is there can anybody say what is the value of one ampere what is the value of one ampere? One, one million million ampere. equal to yes. One milli ampere is equal to ten raised to minus three. Yes. One milli ampere. One milli ampere is equal to that is denoted by one milli ampere is equal to one point ten raised to ten. minus three. Yes. Ten raised to minus. Ten raised to minus three. What is that? Only ten raised to minus three. What it is there in front of that? Four. Ten raised to minus three. Kula. What is there? One ampere, one milli ampere is equal to ten raised to minus three coulombs. What is the value of one milli ampere? Ten raised to minus three coulombs. Ampere. Sorry guys, it's not a ten raised to minus three ampere. It is sorry, not a coulomb. Sorry for inconvenience. Now, ten raised to minus three ampere. Next one. One micro ampere. What is one micro ampere here? One micro ampere is equal to one micro ampere is equal to what you get? Ten raised to minus six mg. What's the value of one micro ampere? There are two types of amperes here. When it is when the current is low, one is of one milli ampere is ten raised to minus three ampere. And one micro ampere is equal to oh sorry one micro ampere is equal to ten raised to minus six ampere. Is it clear? Is it clear to you guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, is there any doubts in this? No, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, guys. Up to one ampere, you have learned here. Only the thing left in this electric current we have to learn is what's the formula to calculate the electric current. I will discuss about that. Now, very simple is that. Just listen to me. Electric current, electric current is denoted by capital I. Electric current is denoted by capital I, and electric current is next. Uh, what is it? Electric charges denoted by. Guys, remember, SI unit of electric charge is different, and it is denoted is different. SI unit of electric charge is coulomb, coulomb and denoted by C. But here, electric charges are denoted by Q. Q. Okay. Next, what is here? Time is equal to T. Time is equal to T. What the formula we will get here is I is equal to Q by T. That is nothing but uh, they may ask you. They may ask you in SI units also for one marks. Okay, in the previous year question paper you can see this one. What is what is I is current. Current is equal to Q is electric charges divided by what is time? Time. T is time. This one and they may ask also ask in SI unit what is current? Ampere is equal to Electric charges is Col coulomb divided by time t. T itself. Is it clear to you guys? Is it clear? Yes, sir. This is the formula you will get for the electric current. It may be twisted. They may ask the uh, current to calculate. They may ask the charges to calculate. But they don't ask the time to calculate. Is it clear? They never ask the time to calculate for it. Just they will ask either the current or the electric charge. charge. Okay. Now, last but not least, 
For ampere also, there is one formula to calculate ampere. You may not get that one, but also just because of knowledge, you just remember here. One ampere is equal to one ampere is equal to what do you get there? One coulomb. one coulomb by one second. I have forgotten to say you after the ampere, the ampere definition. What is one ampere definition? You note on this one. One ampere is equal to one coulomb by one second. It's not so important for you, but also you just remember this one. Already time is eight thirty. We will continue the class tomorrow. Thank you.